There we go. Hey, it wasn't crazy. So we'll replace that, and as you see when we came out, it just kind of clustered everything. You'll always default back to your tool forge repair area. Just right click on it, and it'll go back to its to its regular position. So that was what, 150 plus 3 hearts attack? How much does this one give us? 390 plus 3 hearts. So uh, durability went up. Now if we had a different type of material for the blade, the heart, atta the heart attacks would go up. So do keep that in mind. And then we'll just call this one He-Man Wannabe. And there you go. He-Man Wannabe. So, uh, one of the cool things that you can do is if you take a look, while both of these are plus six, these are not, this one has a paper modifier on it, so we get four modifiers, where this one does not have paper on it per modifier, so we only get three. But, the difference is, is I now have a sword that's 390 durability versus a sword that only has 205, which makes a hell of a difference when you're fighting an enemy that may have, say, 3,000 life and you're just trying to survive. Now, our pickaxe, our old boom pickaxe, has iron, so it would only be able to break iron and it only had 200. I used it a little bit. Versus the new iron pickaxe, which now can go to redstone and it has 324. And it's mining level is six. The other one was four, but it doesn't have a modifier on it. So uh, that's pretty much the basis of it all, guys. The only other thing that I do want to show you is that there are two types of liquids added to it. Uh, we have the pink slime liquid, which uh, comes from pig ingots, and then you have the blue slime, which comes from floating islands, which there are none around here as usual. If you look up in the sky, you'll see a floating island, and that's where you'll find blue slimes. And uh, you may have blue slime liquid. Now, the, one of the cool things I want to show you is if you take... Uh, where's that? It's in this one. If you take four slime balls, dirt, and sand, you get slimy mud. Slimy mud, when cooked down, is turned into slime crystals. Now, what are good? What are what are slime crystals good for? Well, if we go back over here, this is why it's always good to keep your tier one uh, Tinker's Construct stuff near you. And uh, let's see, let's tool rod in. We should be able to make a slime tool rod. What does the slime tool rod do for us? Well, the base durability is 131, so it basically shoot. Oh, I'm sorry, it's up here, 500. So right off the bat, durability is shot through the ceiling. Your handle modifier is 1.5, your leveling speed is 1.5, and the mining level off of it is straight up stone, but it has zero attack. What's really good about this one is if you attach a slime rod to your Tinker's, uh, I'll just show you. If you, if you. if you attach it to one of your uh, tools, it just, the durability goes insane. Uh, and I don't think I can do this, but let me see. No, see? This is, it cannot be modified once it's made. So, hold on real quick. Let's get a, let's get that. Uh, I'll go grab some paper. And we've already got our basin. So, let's make a really good, powerful uh, pickaxe in the beginning. If you can get iron. We can have some paper real quick. Oh my god, look at all these trades. Uh, paper, and this, I think it's... Was it one? Yeah, it was one. We only needed one. So we'll just put this together for a modifier. Boom. Go back to the parts builder. Put that in. Take that out. Ah, get out of here. Want that one. Boom. So we got that. Again, I love how it just it just keeps everything, no matter what. So, and do we have our slime rod? Yeah, we have our slime rod. All right. You can always go back to the parts builder and see the durability of, uh, or the, the durability, the, what damage it does, and things like that. It just a great reference system. I use it all the time. Uh, pickaxe. Boom. The paper modifier, which is going to be your paper binding. And then the slime tool rod, 375. We'll call this one, I am better than you. All right. Pull that off. Now, it has writable, which is to give it, tell us that it is able to 
have um, one extra modifier put on it, and I used iron, that's what it was, I used iron on the head, which gave me reinforced, uh, reinforced one, which is kind of cool. Uh, and let's take a look at its durability. Durability 375, it can still do redstone, and it's mining level 6, where our pickaxe that we just made has 324. So what the bigger difference is, is that there's 375. While it doesn't seem like a lot, having the modifier put on, or having the slime rod put on, helps out tremendously. So if you can find a slime, then go kill it. Get yourself some slime mud. Make the modifier, because in the beginning and later on, it's this is like the best, for in my opinion, the best tool, uh, tool rod possible. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys, for everything. I uh, pretty much showed you how to... Wow, he's just running really fast, isn't he? Look at him run. Stop. <laughs> so I pretty much showed you how to make the tool forge. I pretty much showed you how to make your, your, uh, your castings. I pretty much showed you how to make the crystal, uh, slime crystal. You need the slime crystal. You can't just put slime in and have the, have the slime thing. So that's one thing I screwed up on in the beginning when I was using Tinker's Construct for the first time. Um, and I've showed you the blue liquid and the pink slime ingots. Uh, those are actually done, I think, with iron and whatnot, I think. I can't 100% remember. There is another thing that we can have. Uh, do I have the room? Real quick, let me dump some more. This is one of the problems that you'll start running into. If you have an automated system, you'll have to start automatically having it uh, take out uh, liquids because you'll be like, you know, iron uh, will go crazy on you real quick. Uh, there is, oh, I know what I want to show you too. If you take like iron weapons that are not damaged, they cannot be damaged, uh, gold and whatnot, in the vanilla version of Tigger's Construct, you can actually smelt these tools. Is that not cool? So you can actually get any tools, any, you know, like weird tools that drop, you can actually get rid of. How easy is that? So, there's one more thing I want to show you. Come on. Actually, no, there's two more things I want to show you. And then we'll be done. I promise. Because, I'm, like I said, I'm only trying to make this two parts. So, come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Tell you what, is the uh, tank still in here? Where's the casting? Uh, see your tank? No. Where's the tank, 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 tank? Where's the tank, 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 tank? Ah, it's not here. Ah, there's a um, there's a device we can use, or uh, a tinker's construct item we can use to get through. All this stuff. I don't normally use it, so you have to bear with me. Seared glass. Seared window. Seared glass. Snow tray. Can you see any fluids? Okay, this is it. So we'll just use this one. Excuse me, Mr. Basin. Put that down. Right click. Uh, this isn't the one that you'll be that you can craft, but it's uh, what it is. Is if I can hit R here. Basically, it's uh, seared brick with glass and what you get is a seared glass uh, tank for Tinker's Construct and it fills up and then if you take a look here it fills up a lot which is pretty awesome so I just want to get rid of that real quick and uh, it just keeps filling and then of course you can break it and move it wherever you want so it's just pretty nice but uh, the first thing I, oh, I still don't have enough room good god almighty uh, so we'll just break that get another one uh, I, I want to show you this because it's Kind of damn nifty. Uh, I like what, how the the modder for Tinker's Construct did this, and uh, it's kind of cheesy, but not. I kind of feel because you're kind of like you know doing your own thing. Wow, this thing takes forever. Come on, hurry up. Oh, by the way, if you screw up, oops. Oh, that's still gotta wait for that. So dump all that out. Cool. <clears throat> if you screw this up, 
and you don't have a peat part in there, no biggie. You just put it back in. Like I said, it recycles. Hell, you can put your own the castings in there and it'll do the same thing. So, will it? The old version did. Oh, the new version doesn't, okay. Might be. I was wrong, and I'm sorry. So, there we go. We'll finish that off. Come on. Come on. Fill her up. Is that it? Is all you're going to be able to do? Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so, I'm going to have to spawn in. This is why I like being creative mode. I need to spawn in a villager. I don't like doing this, but you'll understand why. Alright, so we're going to put a villager in here. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Alright. Okay, so while this is a very cruel method uh, to do here, um, there's a reason for this. Oh, it sounds so terrible. Let me walk away. Wow. I think that's everybody. Okay. Um, you know how hard it is to get emeralds in your regular world? Well, with Tinkers, it's not. Because now you have liquid emerald. Now, this is because of uh, stupid um, Minecraft comes alive. <clears throat> I have this, the Queen's Gold. But if you look right here, it has emeralds. <clears throat> and if we took our if we took out our our casket and we threw it down. Uh, oh no, it's the basin. Oh man, that's why I was keeping the basin in the room. Basin. Nope. Basin, please. Where'd it go? Did I spell it wrong? I think I spelled it wrong. I'm good about that. About spelling things wrong. I'm real good about that. Is it the next page? No, it's this one. Let me get a basin back real quick. Because you literally can get emeralds from villagers dying. That's emerald. Literally. Isn't that crazy? This is crazy, man. So, uh, there's stuff down there too. This is so cool. This queen's goal again, you won't get, unfortunately. One of my mods is attached to it, so damn you mods. Um, one other thing I want to show you. And we need to spawn monsters, so we'll just get a zombie. Alright, a couple of these. And watch what happens here. Anybody that falls into this, including yourself, can die. Okay, so do keep that in mind. But look what happens. We're getting what's called blood. And this is where your, um, your ingots will come from. Because uh, actually, the blood liquid can hurt things, so that's pretty damn cool. Uh, let's see, let me show you. Isn't that weird? Isn't that cool? It's so cool. It's not damn. Look at that. You can have like blood just running if you wanted to. Creepy. Creepy. And that is Queen's Gold, I think. Is that the Queen's Gold? Yeah, Queen's Gold, which I'm not... I think that's from... I want I do want to say that's from the whatchamacallit, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me look Let me look real quick. Queen's Gold. Learn how to spell. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, how is it spelled? Q-U-E-E-N-S, okay. Uh, Q U E N N S. There we go. Queen's Gold, which is from. Oh, no, it's Tinker's Construct. This is new. I've never seen this before. This must be part of. Uh... Wow, I've never seen that before. Hey, learn something new every day. Look there. Snow Queen. What the hell is a Snow Queen? Hold on, this is Tinker's? Get out of here. Let me see this. Oh! <gasps> It's from the the Twilight Forest. Oh, cool? oh yeah, wow. Snow Queen. I forgot about her. This is a good chance to see how much damage I do. Not enough. 
There we go. I gotta hit her on not her. I can't. Ah. So we do six. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, ah, that's a boss from the Twilight. So, like I said before, Tinker's Construct just, it just attaches itself to so much different stuff. Which is super cool. Okay, so lesson learned for me. Alright, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I've showed you the blood. I've showed you the, the how to get emeralds. I've uh, showed you pretty much everything. So, uh, if you're into that kind of thing and you, you can kill villagers without remorse, you can make yourself a... Emerald, a, a endless emerald spawner by having a village spawner or village uh, village spawning system, and have endless emeralds if you want to, um, and you can have blood gushing everywhere if you wanted to. It's just ugh, it's Tinker's construct. Gotta love it. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. For me, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, great, appreciate it. As always, this is fun, not for profit. You're getting some lovely entertainment for free, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the mod review. I hope it helped you out a little bit, because if I had a video like this that kind of helped me out in the beginning, I probably would have been a little bit better off. It took me a freaking year to get it, so uh, if something wasn't explained correctly, please correct me in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed it, please let me know. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye!